you will need to understand the fundamental differences between the two kinds of heaters. Although they look similar, they have features that might be better suited for indoor or outdoor use, depending upon the filter. Learn about these differences to make the right decision. Number 1. Most popular. Venting requirements. Most of the models of indoor tankless water heaters in San Antonio, TX, require special, stainless steel venting. Thus, when installing indoor water heaters, you will have to cover the cost of installing the vents as the water cannot disappear up the flue. Even though the new models are very energy efficient and safe in that the exhaust doesn't overheat, stainless vents are something you will need to invest in. You need to make sure of the proper drainage of the condensate water when you install indoor tankless water heaters in San Antonio, TX. If proper drainage is not ensured, the water might drain back into the unit and cause damage to the heater. Since this condensate water is acidic, it can shorten the lifespan of the heater and also damage the heat exchanger inside the unit. Number 2. Space required for combustion. If you install tankless water heaters that use gas burners, you will have to supply more gas to the units in comparison to traditional heaters. This also means that the units will need considerably more air to facilitate combustion. To ensure this, you will need to leave adequate combustion space around the heater so that the fuel and air can mix easily. Outdoor units are in this way better than indoor units, since they can allow for a larger space for combustion, preventing problems like carbon monoxide poisoning, poor heating, and incomplete combustion. An outdoor unit saves you from all these problems. Number 3. Know the space the unit will need. Unlike outdoor units, indoor tankless water heaters in San Antonio, TX need proper space to accommodate the heaters, and for vent installation. This will cost you space that you otherwise do not need to spare if you install outdoor heaters. Number 4. Risk of vandalism. If you live in an area which isn't very well protected or where vandalism is common, you should buy an indoor water heater. For someone with the right skill set, it would not be hard to steal your water heater unit in less than 5 minutes. Nonetheless, this should not concern you if you live in a safe area. Number 5. In a nutshell. Both indoor and outdoor water heaters are a better choice compared to the conventional heaters, owing to the fact that the former are extremely energy efficient. If you live in a secure area and can make a few modifications to accommodate the unit, you should buy an outdoor unit. In case you are at risk of vandalism, or face extreme weather conditions, an indoor water heater should be your choice. Keep in mind that weatherproofing the unit or theft protection will add up to the cost. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.